Okay, you guys, I literally had Joelle come. I text her mom and I said, oh my gosh, can you be at the studio in 45 minutes? I have this really cute new backdrop. Um, I had a dress and a hat and a teddy bear and that's about it. <laughs> and I had other plans, but it's okay. I wanted to shoot it today to share with you guys. So here it is. Quick shoot. Oh, look, you love that teddy bear? Yeah. You love her? What do you think? It's a boy or a girl? What do you think? A boy. You think it's a boy? Okay, well, what should we name him? What should we name him? You don't know? That's a good name. Hello, I don't know. I'm going to have you hop down, okay? Ready? Wee! Okay. We're going to stand up. Can you stand on the table? Yep. Super detailed, but this one. No smiles. smile. No smile. No. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, and it says Honey Lane. So I know, good. right? Oh. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Hello again. So, I hope that watching me shoot was helpful. I only had a GoPro going and so you couldn't see what I was doing, but like I look like Lacey. I'm ignoring Lacey speaking to me, but I'm not. I'm like shaking my head at her and so I, I look rude at times, but you guys can't see what I'm doing and I'm sorry about that. I guess I need another GoPro. That would probably be helpful. Um, I didn't put every image on there that I took because there were a lot that, you know, weren't good, which is with a toddler. Um, Joelle is three and she does amazingly well for a three-year-old. Um, and so I pulled up this shot because the background is super dark and I'm going to show you how much those actions bring the backdrop up. So, um, okay. So this is straight out of camera. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run portraiture on this. I had someone ask about my portraiture settings and honestly, I let it just do its job. And the cool thing about portraiture, okay, so wait, okay. When I do portraiture, I always will command J and duplicate my background because I might want to brush it off. I might want to tone it down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to open that up and then what it does is it pulls up your image. And when you choose this eyedropper right here, I will usually, okay, one thing I need to show you guys though, it's kind of cool. Um, 
sometimes if the dress is close to a skin color and it's wrinkled, you can actually smooth out the wrinkles in the dress by using portraiture, which is pretty cool. You can also use it on hair. So if you have a girl that maybe has like a lot of flyaways or her hair, she just doesn't have good hair. I hate to say that, but, um, you can actually use portraiture on hair and you would just, you know, choose the hair and then go in and just brush it in, in Photoshop. So, which is super helpful. Um, so generally where I choose my sample in portraiture is in between, I know there's a word for it, but I don't know what body part it's called, but in between their eyebrows. Um, sometimes if their legs are darker, I'll choose their legs, but you can see that when I choose the legs, it chooses her hair and the teddy bear, and I don't want that. So if I if I go in between her eyebrows, it looks like all of her face is chosen, her hand, a few things in the background, but I'm not really worried about that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and hit OK, and you're going to see that. So you can see that did a really good job. I'll turn it off and on. Maybe you can see that. But looks good to me. So I'm going to zoom back out and then I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. Um, I'm going to go down. So for the other ones I used, okay, so I'm in the greater than Gatsby painterly portrait collection one. I used two sometimes, but I used two painterly, um, two more so for um, outdoor pictures, um, when I'm doing my uh, studio shots, I always use Painterly One. So I'm going to go ahead and play Leonardo and it's like magic. Bam. See how pretty? I mean, like I could leave it like that and it would be fine. But on the other ones I use, so generally I will also, the Painterly Tones, I will also use Campbell's Soup Cans. It's my number one favorite, but then sometimes... Um, Son of Man is really pretty. It kind of darkens it a little bit, so that's kind of pretty. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit, and that's literally it. Like, that's all I do. Sorry, my I forgot to turn off my Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi. Anyway, that's, that's all I do. Those two steps, and that's pretty much it. I could go a step further if I wanted to and run that one that I run, ran earlier in the Nutcracker, which is sculpted in the Portrait Retouch collection from Greater Than Gatsby also. Um, sometimes it's overkill, but oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, so I might bump it just a smidge to bring up those golden tones. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. That is so pretty. And that's it. Like, I know that it's boring, but that's it. Like, that's all it takes. These actions seriously save me so much time. The result is just beautiful. And I mean, look how pretty that backdrop looks with it. I just love it so much. And, you know, some people worry about flooring and having floors is cool. If you're just starting out and you're on a budget, um, I would say don't really worry about the floor. Um, I mean, don't stress too much about it. I mean, of course, maybe save up your money to get different floors, but I mean, honestly, the floor, if it runs in pretty well with the background, I don't even notice it. Um, but that's it, folks. Pretty boring, I guess, but hopefully if you try these actions out, they will save you. I don't get anything from Greater Than Gatsby, um, so I'm just showing you what works for me and what gives me the look that I want. So hopefully that helped you guys out. I love this backdrop, and if you have any questions, ask me in the group. Don't be shy. Thanks. Bye.